Hello and welcome. In today's video, we talk about what is the difference between a systems analyst and a business analyst. So traditionally, a systems analyst is a little bit more focused on building a system by an approach really centered about the inputs and outputs, data flow, process flow. So those are the basics for that. A business analyst on the other side works with a more holistic approach and takes end user needs and business value more into consideration. System analytics is when very technical people close to the development, operations and management team will use the system. Business analytics is more for external users, meaning users outside of IT. So those users who are more focused on using the system to get to the actual outcome of what they're trying to achieve. A systems analyst is normally someone with a very technical background bridging business and development teams. So it's a very, yeah, you need some technical knowledge here. In most cases, a systems analyst does business analyst tasks as well. So keep that in mind. Whenever one does system analysis, it is more about the how you can provide a particular functionality. It is about the interface. Think about process, database, data flow, design, and so on. You will work more with the developers to really get this system designed and built. When you do business analysis on the other side, one works more on about what the business wants and collects the business requirements. So this is like concept modeling, business process modeling. Who are the stakeholders of the system? You need to talk to compliance and legal to make sure that all these pieces come together. So this is really more the high level stuff and it must be correct. Otherwise, a huge amount of people will work on something that is maybe not required and the risk would be very high that a lot of money and time is being wasted working on these wrong items. So the specifics are really critical. A lot of companies are now using the so-called MVP approach. They build a minimum viable product to collect feedback early and to be able to deviate from the original idea when needed. So you're not building the whole thing and then you look at it it's like, oh crap, we did the wrong thing. Now here are many, many steps in between and you start with that minimal viable product. A business analyst is an umbrella term really that encompasses the positions of requirements like manager, system analyst, a UX analyst and more. A lot of the time when people ask for a business analyst, they are actually asking for a requirements manager because these roles are really overlapping and they do not necessarily know what they want or what they need. So, and also it will be different between companies as there are so many ways to get where you want to be. The operational and project frameworks and the initiatives you work on will be similar, but not the same. So even as a systems analyst or business analyst, once you switch between companies, your roles and tasks will be very different. And then ultimately, an IT business analyst is really the public face of the IT department. When stakeholders want a project done, they don't talk with the developers, they talk with the business analyst in this case. So it's the business analyst's jobs to really flesh out the request into material and direction so that the development team can work with this. And then last but not least, so the job descriptions are really giving you that hint of what the different tasks are about. And here one last thing. If you read job descriptions and you look at system analyst job descriptions and business analyst job descriptions, very often you find the same type of tasks. And most companies really do not employ both. They employ one person and then it's either called a systems analyst or a business analyst. So keep that in mind. It's very often a hybrid role from that perspective. So I would love to hear from you what you think about the roles of a systems analyst or business analyst. Please leave a comment down below. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.